so I went running at lunch today over at the Swans Lake area. Fucking windy. It's like 20 mile an hour gusts. And it was a hard run, but I wanted to get out and do it anyway. Um, what else is up today? Getting new proposals out, getting designs done. Getting our shit set up at work, building new desks, ordering new furniture, new monitor stands. We're doing three monitor stands, standing, sitting desk configurations, new furniture on the way. We're gonna be hauling ass with our design. We're reconfiguring the office layout, packing more people into the space, getting more designers in, more money being made. Bigger contracts, higher profitability. That's the whole plan. Taking advantage of this over overheated market, charging double what we normally would about two years ago. I don't know if that's inflation, but that's how we're doing it. Um, it's on a big uptick, so that's very good. Like I was saying, I went running this afternoon to just get out, refresh, refresh myself. One of the uh, topics I want to look into, I'm hearing this Dr. Zach Bush talking about water and frequency and DNA, kind of this next dimensional level of human health. You know, it kind of deals with the qi systems of the Chinese health medical systems. Um, qi, uh, acupuncture, all the energy flows and the energy meridians. So that's very interesting. I want to research more. You know what, the next thing I want to try after listening to this guy, you know, I quit drinking, seeing benefits from that, obviously. But I'm not feeling 100% there yet. I want more. So I'm gonna, look at this shit. I'm just gonna point this out. <clears throat> but, but, you know, after hearing this guy's discussion about it, I think there's some truth to it. Because I've done meditation, I've done um, acupuncture, and I, I feel like you do connect to a more spiritual uh, system for healing. So what I want to try next is a full month organic, non-processed food. I think that's really going to make a difference. You know, these past couple nights I've been going to the Thai restaurants, getting drunken noodles and curries, probably laced with MSG and shit. Not feeling with it today. Very tired, very fatigued. Um, so... I want to switch my diet. I want to do cruciferous. I want to do fresh fruits, vegetables, and clean water. It was very eye-opening to hear what is happening with our pesticides and what the damage is doing to our DNA and our food system. The glyphosates are binding to everything and they're getting everywhere in our water supply, even contaminating the organically grown vegetables. Like, so these things have destroyed our food production or totally changed it. Um, they created a, what do they call it, Roundup as a desiccant. So that would dry out the crops so that they could harvest it easier. And then they had to genetically engineer the crops to withstand the Roundup on it. So every time you're eating a GMO crop, you're eating a genetically engineered piece of technology that's designed to not be affected by a desiccant chemical so this is fucking with our dna and his theory on all these viruses covid it could be part of the human's organic response to these toxins in the environment and what's happening is the virus is a byproduct of the stress our bodies are experiencing due to the environmental stress factors very interesting couple other weird coincidental spiritual level things i swear i counted you know there was hardly anybody running around the lake this afternoon but of the 10 or 12 people i ran by at least half of them were wearing cu gear now what the fuck <laughs> i was gonna yell like go boss but uh it's just very weird coincidental um i think they were like NPCs. just the program could not create a different character and some smart ass guy saw me running towards them and I don't know, in my mind, like I was sizing him up. I was like, yep, how many uh, fights have you been in? Are you gonna know what to do if I throw a first punch at you? 
And uh, <laughs> these are the thoughts that enter my head when I'm running by strangers. And the guy looked like a weakling, but he was like taunting me. And he was like, nice job champ, or let's go champ. I'm like, that's fucking right, man. I just ignored him, ran by, blew past him. But uh, very strange, a lot of people wearing CU gear. I just think that's comical. Um, beyond coincidental you never see that or the CU buff people just like running in the wind I guess maybe maybe that's part of it um I was watching a movie again you know on this you know I was reading that chapter out of the the book from David Icke in the last video and it's just weird as soon as I started reading that book I'm seeing it from multiple directions yes we are an unlimited consciousness in these temporary physical forms um the analogy hit me pretty hard the other week when I was skiing. We're just caretakers of these bodies. We are not these bodies. We're extra dimensional. We're here spiritually trying to learn and observe and try to find, get back to source and realize we, we should love ourselves and love who we are. We're an infinite source of creation and potential. And we're trapped here in these systems by these controllers it's kind of what the David Icke perspective on it is. Now he claims it's like a reptilian source of control. Whatever you want to call it. Evil, demonic, or what is it? The uh, Anunnaki and, or whatever it is. But yes, I would agree. There's a hierarchical pyramid structure here that we're all slaves to. We are all forced to work and labor. And we can't see the reality of it because we're stuck in the brainwashing and the conditioning and we're like fucking zombies going around and trying to obey our masters everything filters to the top to you all our extra efforts it's all going back into the hands of the rich we've got these fucking wars starting um we don't know the truth of what's happening over there it's this, it's just chaos and it's gonna pull it's gonna suck in both sides we're all gonna pay for it we're just the drone class and we're not allowed to know the reality of it they just want us to shut up and do what we're told and be medicated and dumb down you know our dna has 98 percent of, of uh unknown function and i think this is the real potential dna that we have i don't know if we can activate it i don't know if like maybe the enlightened ones can activate it but basically we're being suppressed we're being imprisoned here for some reason um, we are an infinitely more powerful being but they've dumbed us down and controlled us to the point of like robotic automatons here where we work in these cities and obey these governments but I'm finding you know the other thing I want to point out I was watching a movie last night I think it was called Encounter um, and it deals with these viruses coming from outer space and they live in the larva of these insects and then, then you get bit and then the infection takes over your mind basically it turns you into a zombie and it was just strange coincidentally like the night before i was watching these electron microscope views of uh parasites and just then that's what the movie's about it's like strange coincidences strange coincidences i'll keep reading the book gotta take a call here but uh yep those are my thoughts an eight minute rant as i drive back to work okay